Hello, I'm Yok Boon. Welcome to my channel. Today, I would like to share with you on how to create dynamic delivery order without using VBA in Excel. What is dynamic delivery order? Okay, I show you. Okay, this sheet is a dynamic delivery order. Okay, so that means it controls many it's an active sheet which control many uh, delivery order by this number. Okay, let's say this is one zero zero one. It give you the this uh, uh, particulars which can be used for print out. Okay, so if let's say you change to three, you have all the particulars related to one zero zero three. Okay, if let's say you change to six. You have this, then you change to 9, you have this. So, this is called dynamic delivery order. Okay. So, why we want to create dynamic delivery orders? Because versus the manual type, whereby I've seen uh, my customer before they create the delivery order, they create like this. Okay, they save the 1001, they save in one sheet followed by 102, 103, 104, and so on. Maybe I show you until 10. Then it can go to until 100, 200, 300. For small companies, they have, which have uh, low capital to purchase a mainframe, so they rely on Excel spreadsheet to create their delivery order. So this one is also applicable to sales order, purchase order, invoice, and other similar documents. Okay, so the benefit, second, uh, third benefit is, it is you, all these particulars, right, when it is in control, you can use the data to create, what I say, a summary report, periodical summary report, that is, weekly or monthly or daily also can yearly up to you because you have the full data once you create a dynamic delivery order similar to mainframe but it's a smaller size okay okay so to create this the technique to create this dynamic delivery order is not tough it's, it's easy to learn so maybe you with you you can take bigger few hours or maybe less than that. Why? Because this technique does not involve uh, VBA. Okay, so it's very uh, flexible. So this one we need to know few uh, Excel function only. A simple Excel function which you already know, right? It's only how to code with this Excel function. Right, to give you the best uh, dish so cook your way with Excel function okay so to start with it we create this three sheet okay this three sheet okay so for the old key in sheet is you is a normal data like that but for this the old key in you have to have the rule of thumb that is the do must be in uh, ascending order secondly okay so if let's say you have two item okay for do you have to type in two similar same do number with the different particulars here so you got number three you got seven items you have to type in all the seven do number same with all the particulars here different particulars four five and so on until thousand or whatsoever okay so secondly you have the do or the sheet this is called the active sheet which is controlled by this as I said it's controlled by this so we start it we have to let's say one zero 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 one we put here okay we start with one zero zero one okay so once we complete this one starting the rest right like the rest the active uh, what's it data which we're going to pull 
from here using making use of this DO number we leave it blank the rest we maintain right fixed okay so once complete we go to here okay so the first thing we have to link the DO number to the computation sheet okay so the computation sheet is for you when we link to this we want to do the computation I mean Excel will do the computation from this and return back the particles that this DO one that means you will pull from this data and return this to this area okay that later we will see okay so that means okay the first thing with this DO number we need to know okay in from here how many item this DO number have let's say one we have uh, one two we have two three we have seven four we have one five we have two six we have three like that okay so for this we need to use a simple let's say count if function equal count if okay so count if let's say range range we go here we select the whole range comma and back to the computation okay this is the criteria that's the do number okay and that so we have one here so we see do number we have one item okay so let's say we change to 1003 we have seven see here we have seven here seven okay so this is formula first step is right okay so secondly we need to know the what is the row position of the do num first position of the first item of, of the do number that mean for three is five okay for one is two then for two is three okay so for this we use a mesh function okay so the first item we put your first item okay that means we use mesh equal m a t c h mesh mesh look up value here comma go back to here then it must include the heading that is important comma and this is an asset mesh this close and, and so okay we have five okay so secondly we need to know how to find the rest of the right this is five that means the rest will be six to eleven okay then you go back here how to find so for this we use if function compare to the count here okay compare to the count so equal need to find the second item that is we okay we put the second item here okay maybe third item here so we copy down we to try item like that 11 or 12, 12 okay try item so okay so this allocation is based on this uh, the size of the do here uh, the size here this is if this is 12 then this one will be 12 because it must cover the full if let's say based on this okay so we go here uh, if function if this one is less or equal to this one this is a count item so we have to lock this one and if equal we have the first row one plus one okay if not we blank it so enter so we have five six seven so we copy down see we have 11 items okay okay now we have all the rows number for 
1003 okay. so the next step is to extract all the item here so we copy here copy right. okay so for this computation sheet we don't care about formatting or whatsoever this one we just ignore okay because it will be hidden anyhow we must know it so to extract this we use a hlookup function h lookup function okay look out for the title in this so we have this copy until 10 put type in 0 that will become 1000 then we have this one then mean okay then for this row then z we enter okay so this one since we want to copy it down we must do some uh, locking that mean it's chain to absolute we lock the heading we lock the range then we lock the uh, this one the ref, the column number enter okay if let's say we copy it like that copy down with paste reference because this one is blank this one is blank so then there's no reference this one give us problem right because it's in blank no problem so we have to use error function to clear the blank the error let's call if error okay then blank it i mean this one if error blank if not maintain okay. okay so once complete then we are fully we extract fully already and let's say we change this number to this one so once complete fully we need to link all this back to this here okay, for date equal the date this date no format is okay this is uh, PO number this is deliver to deliver to and this is customer customer you must take the first row cannot because sometimes in the first got only one item only okay so then this one is product the under number enter So copy copy down. Okay, we have this. So for this one we number we put one. Okay. The first item surely got number one. So if second, if let's say we use formula if this one equal blank. So return blank. Else I uh, will add one from the top and enter so we got two so we copy down that's it so we somehow already create a uh, what's a dynamic delivery order so for testing we put here let's say six you see we got six Oh, that means date. You see, date we, we haven't do formatting. So we do formatting. If let's say you want to do follow this, we just follow this date. Okay. We format painter, go here. Okay. So we have date. Okay. Then let's say we have one. Uh, do uh, nine. Okay. All this, let's say we go to six, uh, 60. So we have all this you see that I mean this is dynamic so one 
we already complete all this we want to let say and uh, only want to lock all this so only allow this to be uh, edited so to do this we do allow user new okay 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 then we lock it that's so let's say we key in and here cannot so we can change this let's say uh, Okay. so we have all this term so that means this is called dynamic delivery order okay video that I'm going to share you that's called advanced auto advanced auto filter in another version so before that So this one advanced filter is is using uh, Excel spreadsheet to create without VBA also. Let's say we delete this thing. Okay, that mean let's say that mean once we delete all, it will show you until let's say uh, all the stock here. I only use until 30. Is it 25, 100, 190, 25, 100, 190 because there's nothing here. Okay. So if let's say I keep, I select maybe a uh, twenty three, so that's so you have twenty three only. Then the rest with the say if let's say that here one hundred. Okay, so if let's say I delete this, so this dynamic is all the seven hundred. Okay, uh, I mean if let's say for I, okay, so this is call our future uh, what's it video upload from me thank you very much see you again